And of course, good evening, traders from across the globe. I thank you so much for tuning in to my 2446th installment of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. You know, what's in these videos is really educational technical analysis and tips, tricks, and techniques to help teach you how to be a much better analyst, which in turn should make you a much better trader. These techniques apply to everything from crypto to ETFs to everything in between. So make sure that you pay attention. This is video, as I said, 2446 coming at you on a Wednesday night for trading Thursday. That would be August 4th, 2022. Traders, we know this is a very risky game. Us on the X, we lost money today. We didn't get stopped out, but we had to take a loss. We were on the wrong side. Market went up, never actually went as high as our stop. At the end of the day, we had to take a loss. These things happen. Now, if the market had exploded, our stop would have saved our lives. Put your stops in, put them in first. Never trade without the protection you need so that you could live to fight another day. Let's get moving. Ah, you know, the first thing I want to do is address my Bitcoin. I've got a Bitcoin call. It's been on the board now for a year and a half, practically, almost a year and a half. We are now three years and nine months away, a little less than a year and a half, three years and nine months away from my 85,000 Bitcoin target. And kids, I am not messing around. I'm loaded up. I'm waiting for that target. We got the last one right, right? From 19,000 to 35, nailed my 35. This is our next projection. It will happen, you give it time. What's on the board for trading on the 4th of August? Number one, NASDAQ is leading the way back up for U.S. indices. I'll show you the charts. I'll show you why. Continue on, NASDAQ. It's what we need. Double tops are dead ahead. Dead ahead. First off, when we see a double top, we sell a double top. Yes, just making sure my, my videographer was listening there. Thank you, sir. We sell double tops when we see them, right? So what's dead ahead? A double top in e mini s &P, Russell 2000, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the Dow Jones Transport. They all have double tops waiting dead ahead. So why would anybody want to take a long signal? I'm going to show you in the charts that NASDAQ is telling us not to worry. Just go with the signal on the upside, so we'll see what that means. The charts will show that to you. Number three on the board, crude oil. The targets of 83 and then 77 in crude absolutely remain valid. Traders, we pen those on June 23rd, 2022, when everything looked like it was going to the moon. And so far, so good. It is slowly coming down, bringing us to number four. Inflation is taming, kids. I don't care what CNN, CNBC, all the panic nonsense says to you on TV. Inflation is taming. I will show that to you in the charts. I promise you, 41 years of watching, what I'm going to show you will prove to you that yes, inflation is taming. And then finally, do not fall in love with the upside remains valid. The thing about that remaining valid is this. If we can blow through these double tops right here in these markets, we blow through those double tops, there's a very good chance you will find me erasing number five off my board. It's been on this board since the beginning of January. That would be a big thing for me to remove it. I'm not removing it yet. Let's see what this week has in store for us. So to reiterate, NASDAQ is leading the way back up. The charts will show you that. The double tops are dead ahead. NASDAQ is telling us we're going right through them. Crude will make its way down to 83, then 77, which will push the S&P all the way to the 4,700 area. If crude does this, S&P does that, that was the projection that was made on 623, both of those markets together. And let me show you how inflation is taming and starts the stock market or stocks themselves are starting to show us that inflation is taming. So that's what I want to show you. Traders, remember, I send out trading recommendations to you directly day and night, 24 hours a day. When the Omni wants to buy, when the Omni wants to sell, when it wants to get in, when it wants to get out, where it wants a place to stop, it lets you know 24 hours a day, trading recommendations come at you in real time. That is the platinum subscription service at livewithoscar.com. If you need help trading these rough and tumble markets, contact me and I'll be more than glad to help you out. Show up at livewithoscar.com. Find me in my free live trading room. Let's chat a little. Let's get through these rough and tumble markets together. So what do we have left? 
the chart segment. But remember, traders, it's very, very emotional trading out there. We do not make emotional decisions. We come up with a plan. We trade that plan the next day. We put the stop in first. And then we do this. We say this over and over again to keep our emotions at bay. And by now, you should know what that is. Come on, people, say it with me. Are you ready? Stops are in. Yes, sir. Emotions are out. Yes, traders, that is the truth. Now, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, the E-mini S&P daily bar, you've seen this chart in every video that I've produced for quite some time. Remember, we started with checking the Fed meetings and what happens after Fed meetings and blah, blah, blah. Then we get above my Omni average and it builds a bull flag. Now, what's wrong with that with an Omni bullish signal and a bull flag and above the, above the Omni average? Looks great, right? But we've got to look at everything. That's the exact same chart, exactly the same. I just took the average off of it. Remember, it's about to run into a double top right there. And we know we're supposed to sell double tops, right? Because the rule is when we see a double top, we sell a double top. But you've got to check everything. You can't just check one. So, all right, double top there. Oh, no, Russell, two, double top. What are we supposed to do with that? Supposed to sell that too, right? But I've got to buy Omni signal. What am I going to do? Well, let's keep looking. Next chart. Dow Jones Industrial Average. We're not even at it yet, just like the S&P. It's looming above. So, hey, that could give us a nice buy day, right? Maybe S&P will give us a buy day anyway and head up there with the Dow. Transportation Average, same sort of thing. Messing with the double top. Didn't get through it yet, but it's trying. Above the Omni Average. So everything says, Oscar, it's a double top. When you see a double top, you sell a double top. And then we look here. Look at that NASDAQ. I'm giving it a round of applause. Go, leader, go. If NASDAQ says we're going, the likelihood is we are going. Now, NASDAQ is this far over the double top with a bullish Omni signal. And we are well above the Omni average. I say until it turns, we follow this thing straight up. The beauty of what we do is we always put stops in first. So if we're wrong, stop gets hit, we're knocked out. No big deal. Now, what is driving this? See this? About this long now, it's been going up. What's driving that? Well, there are two things driving it. One is the price of crude. Now, you've seen this chart since the top. I told you, look, we've got a head and shoulders, which fell into a bear flag inside of this channel. So left shoulder, head, right shoulder gives you your head and shoulders formation. Then you've got this flag right here. Bear flag, meaning we should go lower. And all of it happens inside of this massive downward channel. All of this gives me projections of 83 and then 77. Now, as crude goes lower, it removes inflation immediately right from our pockets. The gas costs less. That means sending packages around costs less. That means getting raw materials to factories costs less. Everything costs less immediately when the price of crude goes down. So that helps to remove inflation slowly, right? Then there's this. Let's talk about inflation. This is the price of copper. Here is where they raised rates. Look at what's happened to copper since they've raised rates. That is a very key component to building, right? Very key component, building material. Dr. Copper has been going down since they raised rates, pulling inflation out of building. Look at lumber. If you've got copper and lumber since they started raising rates. If you've got copper and lumber doing this, I'm telling you right now, these two things going down are major key to inflation. And then back to crude oil. You've got the third major factor, the biggest factor of inflation, crude oil. It looks ripe to me, kids. Look at this bear flag. Boom, 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 boom. Here it is. The bear flag is right here. We're below it at the moment. Crude is at $90 a barrel right now. It could be at 89, dropping from a bear flag, dropping and staying inside of this downward projective channel. I am telling you right now, crude is going here and the S&P will continue to go there. Now, what could stop it? 
you know, this is a war going on, right? There's all kinds of things going on. And we've got a president that hates Americans and hates crude oil. So he could easily say something stupid in a stupor and send it right back up, right? That could happen. But let's just take politics out and say the charts see all of that stuff first. These charts are pointing lower. And if crude goes lower, the key component to inflation, you've already got building materials lower. And if I spent the time to show you the grain charts, there isn't a single grain you can pull up that hasn't dropped dramatically since they started raising rates. That, my friends, is inflation disappearing. You listen to Oscar. He's been watching 41 years, not these lunatics on television or on the internet. That's what's going on. That's what we should expect. And that's what I'll be showing you in my live trading room. So come join Join me. Remember, good luck trading out there and always, always put those stops in first. Traders, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you at livewithoscar.com.